am Steve Whitten. I'm a PGA Master Golf Professional Instruction, and I'm here today to, to, to let you know how you can teach your students how to hit a high floating greenside bunker shot. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is understand that the golf swing is going to have to be pretty narrow. Okay, so the first thing I like to do with, our, with my students is, is they just draw a line where the ball is, just like I'm doing right here. I let them take the club back. The first thing we're going to do is we're really going to hinge the hands quickly. So we're going to get it right up into the letter L very quickly. You see my left shoulder comes down a little bit, so it's a quick hinge. From that position right there, I just kind of draw another line. On the other side, I just do the same thing. I let them hinge up really quickly in their hands so they get the sensation. Draw another line. So now they kind of get the sense of how narrow this swing is going to be. It's not going to be a big, wide swing. That's not going to help us get the ball up in the air high. So what it is, is they see the right line, the left line, and they start to get the feeling of the club coming up, coming down, and coming up again. Now here's the trick. we got to teach them not to really try to flip it or help it out of the bunker. Now most of the shots, and every shot in golf, I think about it, all the shots in golf, we actually encourage our students to come into the hitting area with their hands leading the club head. We know that. That's what compresses the golf ball. In order to get good height out of this bunker, though, we've got to actually do the opposite. So what I teach my students is as they're coming into the hitting area, we actually want the club head to pass by their hands so that they can actually get kind of that scooping motion that they're all so good at. They're going to have to do it slowly at first so they do take the proper amount of divot. So it's up. Club head passes by the hands, club gets back up in the air again. So as we set up, we don't worry about too much about the height of the ball at first because they're still trying to get the feeling of the hands. Get them set up. They really don't need to open up the club a lot. They can if they want. They can use a 60 degree, it really doesn't matter. But we're going to get the club up high and a quick hinge. So as I came through that ball, I really thought about was telling them, we've got to hinge the hands, that's what gives us height. We're going to let the club head pass by the hands at impact. We're going to hinge it straight up. It gets the ball up in the air nice and quick. They can get over any lift there is in town. Hope that helps your students.